Hey, Mark, fake banter for the intro. That's all I know how to do. Great. Good to be here. Welcome to Tuesdays with... Stories. Hit her in the face with a surfboard. And then the duck fell out of his bag. <laughs> Surf's up. And she didn't even flush. Knock, knock. Who's there? Mark Norman and Joe List. Yeah! This is Tuesdays with Stories, everybody. No, nah, that's terrible. This is supposed to be cheesy. My radio is spitting at me. And I can't choose what I hey! do. Here we are. Get in there. There you go. The bad shot. The gash. You think anyone could jerk off to what I'm doing right now? Maybe we must have a gay gay. Ah, uh, uh, maybe. If you do, send in the uh, video. We'll, we'll play them side by side. Although I'm doing a woman. Yeah, I don't know so, what you're... Yeah. Uh, you're so would you're... that be turn on a man? No. Or a gay? Maybe a bi. It could be a man. A bi, because I'm hitting both. You're hitting both. Because I'm doing lady, but I'm a man. Is that uh, how you do it with a lady? Yeah, yeah they, they do a circular. Oh, jeez. Yeah. I've been flicking. Oh, I'll send you some YouTube tutorials. Please. I heard it was flicking the bean, so yeah. I was really getting in there. Chuck's flashlight is on. What are you, 80? <laughs> You're one of those guys. <laughs> oh, boy. Oh, uh, the flashlight. That's like the new big embarrassing thing now for oh. a boomer. You're a boomer if your flashlight's on. Yeah, yeah, the flashlight is bad. My dad does the uh, the huge font. Ah, you got huge it. font. I can read that from, from uh, Albuquerque. Wow. Huge font, huge cock. Big dong on that, and both black. Maybe, the, <laughs> maybe there's correlation. Uh, nah, like, uh, the bigger old. the dong, the bigger the font. Well, my mom is a huge font and <laughs> big clit, so maybe there is something. That font is French, too, isn't it? Font, font de Leroy? Font. Font, yeah, I don't know yeah, what, that, what that means. Yeah, French. you don't know what anything French means, you fucking son of a bitch. You fucked me. I'm out. La Bajou. You're like, it means, uh, uh, what'd you say? What'd you say? Celebration. celebration. It means pearl or Jew or jizz. <laughs> I think it's a, a gem. The gem. Uh, the yes. gem. You fucked me. I got to get to the gem. I, I took it. I just went straight out with it. I was like, eh, hey, celebration. My friend's French. Jubilee. Ah. Celebration. Jubilee. Is yeah. that French? That's a good name for a bar mitzvah. Jubilee. Oh, Jew. Believe. Believe that. Oh yeah, or a bully, a Jewish bully. A Jew bully. Yes. That is a little bullying. Your your dick is snipped, right? You got a big head on that thing? Crown. I'm all cirked out. Yeah. Cirque du Soleil. You cirked? Oh yeah. Good it's, for us. I didn't know about so when you golf, you're not a golfer. I don't mind it, but I'm not good. Obviously you're not a golfer. But movie. JFK. Lebowski. Ah. <laughs> With the bowling ball. Ah, yes. Yeah, Obviously you're not a golfer. Great film. Anyways. Uh, speaking of films, oh. um, the thing about filmmaking, Mark, is um, Please, it's really a, me, it's arduous. Yes, um, yes. Wait, what the fuck was I saying? We're talking about being circumcised. Circumcised. I didn't know about the circumcised. So when you golf, there's a there's an unwritten uh, men's rule. If you you hit from the men's tees, uh -huh. if your ball, your drive doesn't go past the ladies' tee, you got to hit your next shot with your dick out. Is that right? Well, I think it might be a family rule. I don't know. <laughs> I like it. Whips wow. I think it's an old adage. Jeez, okay. Well, this changes Tiger Woods' whole game. <laughs> well, so if you go up there every once in a while, you, you flub or nub. You Is just, it a wood? You <laughs> <laughs> you top, it's, it's not iron. No, no. You, you, it putter. That's a good dick word. A putter. Ooh, I like butter. that. Yeah. Not bad. Mm. Okay. But if you top it or you miss it or you swing it, you hook it, it doesn't make the ladies tease. Everyone goes, hey, dick out. And uh, so you got to hit the next shot with your pants down to let everyone know you're a man. I like it. Wow. Well, we did Derek's bachelor party. This is 38 years ago. We were, uh, it's going to pale in comparison to yours. I can't wait for your bachelor party. It's going to be wild. Go! Come on by. Everybody's welcome. Uh, that what? No. No, no, no. It's at Martha's Vineyard no. in October. Oh. God. Men only. Yes, dicks out. Did I tell you Iron. that one of the days of your bachelor party? <laughs> my wedding anniversary. I heard. I heard. Sarah called me. It's bad. She's pissed. It's bad. I'm yeah. so bad. Ah, what are weddings? Ah. They're not important. Oh, jeez. Nobody believes in that tradition. All right. It's antiquated. Well, well, you're doing a live pod the day of your wedding, so I'm not That's too true. worried yeah. about you. We're, we're flying down Rogan. It's a whole thing. Um, any jizz. So... One of the members was uh, un uncircumcised, and he didn't hit it past the ladies' teeth, oh. and he took his dick out. I, I fucking fell over. I felt like Kramer. Wow. I was like, 
Yeah, it's a good way to win because you can't you can't hit right if you're seeing that old putter popping out at you. You know that's that's a quite a groundhog. Because I'd always heard circumcise, uncir- I didn't know what anyone was talking about. I just yeah. pretended, and then I, I saw that slug, and uh, <laughs> God, I, I haven't stopped crying since. I still remember my first ant eater. It was 1989. I remember where I was. I remember who he was. We were doing a little sword fighting at the toilet bowl, as you do at a sleepover. And this kid was a, uh, you know, the kid that no one ever invited out and the mom made you invite him? Yeah, same with my kid. Yes. Huh? The kid from my story. Oh, yeah. Just kidding. Very good guy. I thought you had a kid. I was no. like, wait a minute. How's this movie going? So uh, this kid, Colin, you know, the mom was like, you're bringing Colin. And everybody's like, no, oh, Colin's a weirdo. He's got a long dick. It's crazy. <laughs> and he's, they're like, you're bringing Colin. So we had to bring Colin out. And we all our assumptions were correct. This guy was a kook. He slept like... Like this. Oh. I swear to God, we watched him sleep. Oh, yeah. Was he a vamp? Yeah. He's a vamp. A and and I, put his, I put his uh, finger in the cup of water. Uh, <laughs> you know, that old guy. the whole hand. No, we go finger. Oh, weird. I don't know how big her clam is, but we only go finger. <laughs> we couldn't fist. And uh, he wet the bed. It was very exciting. No kidding. It worked. Boy, I got two thoughts. One, 89. That's pretty good. Because this is 2011. I saw my first. Wrapped oh, up. Oh, I've been pug. seeing dongs oh, since yeah. uh, the early '80s. Well, I'd seen dongs, but I'd never seen a circum dong. Ah, segregation. <laughs> yes, exactly. And the other question. Oh, I had fucking a bunch of questions. Oh, Colin. Maybe he's European. Was he Irish or English? He was definitely Cause, Irish. Because I was think a Europe. Pasty, freckled yeah. uggo. That's not part of the European culture, I believe. Mm. I think you're right. Now, what about the uh, the Negro leagues? Where are they at on the Cirque? Mm. I would love to know. I've only Satchel seen Page. in porn. I've only seen Cirque. I know, but this is porn. These right. are chosen dicks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The chosen right. dicks. Yes. Good yeah, name for mean Jews. <laughs> you ever have the thing growing up where you you find out about circumcision Great movie. and yeah. you're like, "Am mean I Jews. circumcised? Like, I have a little bit of foreskin. Sometimes my dick is small. Oh, it goes really? over it. You ever have that? No. No, I'm, I'm snipped all day no. long. Really? I'm all Good the snip. way up to the yeah. shaft. Really? To the, no, the base. I get some extra. They just kept I going. Yeah. Extra. I'm all head. I'll let you borrow some. My my whole dick is purple. <laughs> swollen, <laughs> bright purple. Now speaking. Of dreams and hand in the water last night. Have you ever had this before? This just happened last night. I'm not just like uh, making it up like the other day. Sure. It's happened last night, which is this morning. Lay it on me, fatty. Well, I'm in bed dreaming. I'm in the, the REM sleep, and I have a dream, dream that I've dream, shit. Dream, uh, dream. So I, I I just did Bob Dylan singing uh, the Everly Brothers. Dream, dream, dream. I thought you were having a seizure. Um, so, uh, Julius, seizure. Ah, uh-huh. seizure salad. Uh, we're rusty. I'm, I'm sick as a dog. I'm yeah. on all kinds of Theraflu or Kung Flu, whatever it is. Mark claims he's been tested for COVID twice, which I've never believed you less on well, anything ever. The lady I was in the- England when we were required to get COVID <laughs> tests and you weren't doing them. I have the test, but I mean, what's the difference? I could show you a photo from 1941. Robert Kelly, uh, his doctor, supposedly said, stop testing for COVID. Don't even test for it. What? Yeah, he's like, it's a cold. Fuck off. Don't even test. Ah. My mother's 110 and and drinks like Jim Morrison. Sure. She had it. She didn't even break anything. She didn't even stop doing anything. She went on vacation. Really? Oh, yeah. She blew the Dallas Cowboys and drank a couple cocktails. Sounds like our bachelor party. <laughs> but she, my lady had it about two weeks ago, and she was wrecked. Mm, first the, time? First time. Ah, the first time. See, she's uh, she had the hymen. Once you get rid of that hymen with the COVID, you're, you're smooth sailing. I think. Maybe. I don't know. People are going to shoot us, but... That's what Bobby's doctor said. I don't know, but uh, I don't believe you, but I'm not worried either way. But <laughs> I'll, I'll show you the test, but again, the, my whole kitchen table is just 18 tests because she's been testing, I've been testing. Okay. We both have AIDS. All right. I'll, I'll, I'll take all you right. up on that. Yeah. Right. Let's yeah, see a photo. By. It's still there. I'll, I'll send you a photo of the table. All right. Mark's going to be texting under his shirt. Get a couple of COVID tests. <laughs> <laughs> Get a couple of tests. They're nine ninety nine. I bought one from CVS yesterday. But nine ninety nine. Right. Mine was 40 and I was in Montana. Well, what? Yes. Or oh. it was a double. It was a two pack. Well, I don't Shakur. think. Shakur. The ones I, <laughs> the ones I bought, I don't think are working. But either way, they were cheap. Well, you gotta open them. You get the yeah. ga- you get the gag ones. I got the gag. Yeah, yeah. You did like Karnak the magician at CVS. Just held it like, nah, I'm good. Yeah, right, right. Anyways, I don't care. We can blow each other and it'll be fun. COVID schmovid. But I've had it nine times. Yeah, who gives a shit? Monkey I think pups. I might have had it because I was exposed at the party. By the way, everyone at that party had it. What party? 
The after party. Uh, ah, the party. The after party. Did you get it? Did you get anything? I don't think I got it. There's like 17 people there that had it. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. I've had sniffles in a, <clears throat> but I, I tested and it was negative. So yeah, but it was, was probably false. I, I don't know. The, uh, I was all over the place on the third and the fourth. And like, I was like, people have to have it, have to be having it and walking around me right now. Oh, like, sure. Whatever's going to happen. Oh, you know what Jesus I mean? Do? Well, I was at the cellar party and like 28 <laughs> people got it. And I could, <laughs> it was so gross. It was a basement. Everybody's dancing to hip hop, sweaty, booze. You could yeah. see COVID in the air. You're like, oh, that's COVID. There <laughs> yeah. it is right there. It's floating yeah. around. <laughs> But I didn't get it there, so who knows? Who okay. cares? <laughs> I'm coughing. Oh boy! <laughs> clear my throat. Uh, oh jeez! Open was coughing. In here. So I had this dream this morning yes. that I had shit my pants. I was at some kind. The dream hasn't fully come back. You know how you get waves. Mm. But it was a pants shit situation. But I had to be somewhere. I don't know if it was a meeting or a podcast or what. But it was in a thing, and I had to go downstairs, and it was a dirty stall. And I had to ah. take my underwear off and throw them away. And I was wiping my ass because it was just everywhere. What would you eat? Uh, I had a big smoothie, green smoothie, and some other stuff. That but then I woke up from the nightmare. Oh, that's the dream. This is the dream. I see. So I wake up from the nightmare, and I had to shit so bad. Ah. It was like my body was like, hey, get up. You got to shit. I, I never wake up in the middle of the night to shit, but I woke up at like 5 a.m., with a half an eye open and half an ass open and, and, and shit. But I dreamt the shit. That, I've had the same thing where you're like, what? You have that pressure. But I didn't have the dream. I never, I'm not MLK. But I, I had the, I had to, sh- the shit. I just woke up like, if I don't shit now, this bed is, is going full train spotting. So I, I had to run into the pooper. But yeah, the dream is good because it tells you, Jerry. It tells you what's up. I've had the whiz dream before. Well, we had, we had dreams, you know, dream. Dream Weaver. Dream Weaver. Day Dream Believer. There you go. Yeah, Dream Catcher. Hmm. Ah, maybe the uh, the uh, Native Americans. They were catching shit in there. No, wait. How did they do it? That was the uh, ISIS. Yeah, I think they do a thing. Oh, they did this though. That's that was the one. Yeah. 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 Mark does it all the time. Yeah. 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 That's it's Native fun. American. Yeah. 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 Well, those natives. They There's something. <laughs> they attacked each other quite a bit, by the way. Yeah. You know, there's yeah, a lot of, exactly. hey, the white man just us. came down. It's like, yeah, yeah, they also enslaved each other. Yeah, uh, yeah. It's not just us. Yep. Yeah. Indian on Indian yeah. crime. Yeah. And it there. happened quite a while before we got here, I might you add. You got that right. Yeah. Thank God for smallpox. We were just in Montana, and it's it's Native American all over. It's real, they got the big... Uh, fuzzy hat with the, b- the horns. horns. Yeah, yeah. What? Like the guy who did the Capitol raid? Yeah. Yes. <laughs> really? I think, yeah, I think he was a Native American. <laughs> what? I think. Yeah, it's fun. Wow, I didn't know that. Have you been to Montana? This is a hell of a place, Montana. You gotta get the out there. Only state I've never been to. Oh wow, it's really, it's really something out there. It's uh, it's pretty undeveloped. I look, it looks a little uh, what's the word? Not Preserved. lived in. There you yes. go. Preserve or jam, jelly, whatever it is. Preservation. Yeah, it was uh, pretty cool. But we had this thing. Don't you hate this thing? So we're in uh, Whitefish. Ah, uh, it's very Jewish. Very name. Jewish. Yeah. So we're in Whitefish, which is at the uh, the the banks, the mouth of the Glacier National Park. And I love a national park. You watch any Ken Burns national parks? I like Burns, but I don't know that one. It's pretty good. It's on Delta. Next time you fly. Toss it on there. Could it get more boring than a documentary about parks? Because that guy can stretch out a World War Nine to 17 hours. I can't imagine what he's doing with a blade of grass and a, and a patch of dirt in a tree. I'm sorry, but uh, I'm going to have to get it angry here. You don't you don't disrespect Burnsy. I mean, <laughs> look, look, I like Mr. Burns. I'm just saying. I like Kenny. I'm just saying. It's, uh, That's top shelf. How do you stretch? I mean, a park. What are we filming? All right, we got the lake. Oh, a bird flew you by. Know, Whoa, what you it's, a, it's about? an action movie here. I mean, he did 58 hours on baseball, for God's sake. It's gripping. He gets I the stories. I love baseball. He gets in there. Jonathan, John Muir, M-U-I-R. Look this mm, guy up. He's quite a guy. Muir. Yeah, all right. <laughs> He's a horse Muir. He's yeah. quite a guy. He, he he went in there, and he lived in there, and, and it's all pipes. He lived in the park? And then another guy. It wasn't a park yet. It was just all oh. something. We came up with it. That's very American. They don't Is have that, that right? in Europe. That's us, baby. What? It was our best idea. That's what it's called. National Parks, our best idea. And Tom Hanks is in there. He's reading Ooh, things. It's really good. something. All right, all right. Boy. It's, I was gripped. I like the idea of the starting the parks, protect our parks. But how do you get? How do you keep it going? I didn't make it that far. I was bored. But I so. thought so. <laughs> okay. F- well, you got to watch in like ten minute increments because you got to check your YouTube comments or whatever. But yeah, 
It's it's something. But anyways, we are at the mouth. But I suspect remember the um, Type weather, two? remember Sorry. the weatherman episode of Curb. Yeah, of course. I think something like that was going on. Tell me what you think. Let me shove this in your ass and see if you shoot come in my face. For the people at home, the weatherman was saying it was going to rain so he could have the golf course to himself, and then Larry called him on it. That's right. So we get there to Whitefish, and uh, it's a lot of stories. A hell of a time. I'll, we'll get all into it. But Blackfish is a whole other thing, by the way. What's black? Oh, that's that that's other a documentary. Dog. That's better than the national parks. Oh, okay. Well, now the truth is coming out about this parks doc. Well, the blackfish is top quality. All right. Love blackfish. All right. It's black feet, motherfucker. <laughs> that's one of the great bits. Chappelle. Is that the Indian? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Calm down, blackface. It's black feet, motherfucker. <laughs> God, he was good. I am an alcoholic. God yeah. damn it, he was so good. He was, he was one of the best for a while. The spirits ah. got me chief. He's still great. You might hear this. God, I hope not. But did you I see- like everything. I like everything that everyone's ever done. It's very hard to make a film. Yes. <laughs> Nanette. Did you see uh <laughs> did you see the, the school thing that he did? The shooting? No, he didn't do one of those. Oh. We'd hear about that. No. But we'll we'll talk. No, what did he did a school thing? He went to his old alma mater and gave a speech because they he, they tried to name the theater after him and the kids uh, protested. I missed all this. I was in Montana. I oh, well, <laughs> sounds like a healthy way to live. It's been going on for a long time, but it kind of finally came to a head and he went and did a speech at the school and Netflix released it as like a Dave Chappelle special event. Oh, wow. Very strange. We'll talk. We'll talk. Boy. Well, whatever. Um, Keep it going. So Montana, Blackfish, so Ken Burns. We go there. <laughs> Glacier National Park is there. We think we stay a couple extra days. We go, we got to check out the National Park because I love a National Park. I just watched sure. the doc. I'm all hot and heavy with National Park. Yeah, it's American. And then uh, we start hearing this. Don't even bother. Uh-oh. If you're not there by 5.30 a.m., you're not getting in. Whoa. And so we hear that, and we go, oh, geez, maybe should we get up at 5? And someone else, different party, goes, no, you ain't getting into Glacier, not in the summertime. I'll tell you that. Uh, what is this, a beaver concert? It's a fucking park. <laughs> and I go, oh, that's weird. And then someone else says, yeah, there's only one entrance, and ah. everybody's going. The whole ta- Every hotel you see here, everyone's going. They already got their passes, so don't even think about it. Whoa. And so we went. All right, I guess we won't go. And in my mind, I'm like, how different is right here than over there? It's all pipes. <laughs> there's plenty of parks. <laughs> it's dirt. So I'm like, we'll go to this park. I mean, there's no fence. No offense. Uh-huh. None <laughs> taken. So I'm like, we'll just go here. But then Sarah and I were sitting up late at night. It's a little bit like... Um, North Dakota, Tuscany. It's Tuscany. It's, uh, uh, you're not getting in. Yes. All of, everyone's, I think they might just be spreading rumors to old tourists, New Yorkers uh-huh. with glasses going, hey, they voted for Obama. Don't tell them, to, tell them not to come. <laughs> hey, right. Interesting. So I hope you went. We didn't go. We were, we were talked out of it. You listen to the groundskeeper, Willie? Piece well, of shit. Fuck this guy. I can't get my wife up at 10 a.m., let alone 5 a.m. Yeah, forget it. But no, I'm saying, if you, I bet if you'd gone at 1 p.m., you would have been all right as rain. Well, that's what I kept saying. I'm like, I don't understand. So there's just, like, I go to Joshua Tree all the time. Like, yeah. Once a year, you just cruise in there. But yeah. I think there's three entrances there. And this one is only one entrance, uh-huh. evidently. <laughs> and everyone stays in the one town. I see, but it's I mean, what is solid. it? Is it like a bottleneck where you all try to get in the gate and everybody, you know, like, what, what the hell? It's a fucking park. I don't That's get exactly it. exactly what I said. Yeah. That's what I said. I said Cincinnati, the who? I was like, is it like the who, Cincinnati, when they had that thing where everyone bottlenecked and died? Yeah, exactly. I'm like, I don't get it. If I drive my car over to the park at 3 p.m., what's going on there? Right. Is it, is it Woodstock where there's 9 million cars lined up and a bunch of hippies like, fuck it, we'll walk with beers and drugs, and then you got a lady dancing naked on the hill? I might go back. I don't know. I could never figure it out. But we just we ended up going to the park. We went to Big Mountain, which uh-huh. is funny. They named it Big Mountain. You see a sign. It, it was making me laugh out loud because we're driving. And this is like a green, you know, state sign. It says Big Mountain. I'm like, I know it's a big mountain. What's the name? It felt right. like Abbott and Costello. Right, right. Yes, hey, yes. Little street. I got some insight. Fat woman. Oh, I, really? I go to North Conway, New Hampshire. There's a place called... What? Yeah, North Conway. <laughs> you're going na- yeah, I've been to North Conway. It's not a national park. No, no, but they have a thing called Sorry. like Martha's Bath or something like that. Mm. Someone's bath, and it's like a shower guy. It's like a huge like section of waterfalls, right? Uh-huh. And everyone goes to visit and hang out and swim and hang out in the waterfalls, similar to a park. Okay. Um, and if you like go during the day, there's like an entrance, 
and the line of cars is like 60 cars long. Uh -huh. down the oh, interesting. And okay. So it is the bottleneck. Can it you is. walk in? I think you probably could walk, but you'd have to, I mean, I don't know. I don't know how it works. See, here's the clinker, because I was in Portland, Mount Hood. Not Portland, Oregon. I love Mount Hood. That's great, something else. Great hood. Uh, we've, we've all lost our hoods. But either way, you go to Mount Hood, and I'm in the car, and they're like, you got to see the waterfall. You got to see the waterfall. I went to the Did waterfall. Did you go to the waterfall? Yeah. yeah. So we go, all right, let's go to the waterfall. So you boop, beep, boop, beep, you put it in, and it's all smooth sailing until you hit close, and then you're in a line. Yep. Because you have a car. We had the car. Uh, we had the rental. Yeah, yeah. And then you got to wait for someone to leave to park. You can't just uh, leave your car on the fucking mountain right. cliff, exactly. the big mm. mountain. So you had to wait to park, and then you park finally after like a half hour, 45 minutes of waiting. Then you walk up. You see it. You take your gay photo. You have your, your kiss. You push her in, mm -hmm. and then you go back to your car. But that was the wait was the car factor, mm. not, the, uh, not the gate that you can't get into. Yeah, well, it's. Uh, I'm starting to think maybe I'm not that into national parks because the other park, Big Mountain, we just drove up, parked, and hiked up, and it was spectacular. Great view of the valley, view of the park, view of all the way to Canada. Yeah. The whole thing. But uh, we went to uh, the Vegas trip. You ended up not coming to Utah, but me and Vecchione right. and Sarah and Ari went to, what's the Utah one? Zion. Yes. Ah, we went to yes. Zion, and uh, that was similar. It was just packed. Like, we were walking, like, single file oh. with a bunch of assholes. Yeah, that's no good. Packed park, no good. Well, that's it defeats the whole park purpose, which is I want some uh, serenity now and a little space and a little, uh, little meet time with the elements. Exactly. So we ended up going to Big Mountain Spectacular. It's called, I don't care for the name, Danny On. Mm. Danny, Danny On. O-N. Like, uh, hey, he, he can't turn it off. It's right. Danny. He's a little on. <laughs> is that a guy? I don't know. Danny. I never looked it up. I don't know. What do, what do you got on Danny on uh, there? Chuck's fake typing over there. He's like Kramer at Murphy <laughs> Brown's office. Chuck's off. Danny on? Danny on trail? That's it. Get the get the uh, etymology or whatever. Yeah. Yeah. So we did Danny on, and it was beautiful because it's a, it's a challenging hike. Hour and a half straight up the mountain. I mean, this is challenging. And then you take a gondola down, Ooh, Josh Gondola. I man. love a gondola. So that was nice. There was a bear sighting. Gondola. We didn't see it, but there was kind of a hot uh, park ranger at the top. Ah. Mm -hmm. And she told us about bears. Love a park ranger lesbian. You want some bear trivia? Please. Yes. So bears, which, which, this was their question they posed. I got it wrong. Ah, which, that hurts. What is the best way to deter or uh, keep a bear away? What's that word? Deter, deflect, deflect. Uh, we got repel? bear spray. Repel? repel. Is it A, bear spray, B, human voice, or C, bear bells? Whoa, bear whoa, bells. whoa. I, I don't know, know what a bear, bear bell, bell is. Yeah. You don't know bear bells? Bear bells? Bear is bells is when you hike with bells so they can hear you coming. What? But yeah. isn't that, doesn't that go, hey, hey, the guy's over there. The I dinner hear him. bell. No, oh, they yeah. don't. <laughs> um, <laughs> They're barely legal. They don't. They don't want to. They hear the bells and they go, "What the fuck is this?" Yeah, because they're only attack you to protect. I think. I see. Mm -hmm. Well, I guess the bear bells. That's what I said. Ah. I said bear bells. Ah. It's, the human, voice? it's human, the human voice. Human voice. Yeah. And then we joked. We'll just play Tim Dillon's podcast full volume on the on the, on the park. Well, ironically, he's a bear. <laughs> I was gonna say, um, he's a big fat gay. <laughs> well, that's a funny thing too. We went in another trail, uh, Smith Lake, which was spectacular, and there was two guys leaving. And I said, "Did you see any bears?" And he said, "Just the two of us." <laughs> and it was hilarious. I was like, "This guy, this is gold." That's great. Because you can't, great. you can't always tell gays are gay until they say we're bears. Yeah, right. And I, I hate to smell their bills. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that was juicy. That was yeah, a thick cough. That was a phlegm, phlegmy one yeah. there. It's a little semen. But uh, I want to get tested. So, are bear, did she make up bear bells? No, bear bells are real. Well, what's the fucking point if they don't repel? Well, she said the the human voice is good because they recognize human, but bear bells is a foreign sound to them. Ah. But then I had the thought, doesn't everybody, doesn't a lot of people use bear bells? Wouldn't they start to be like, oh, that's a human? Right. Ah, I've lifted some bear bells. But she was hot, and uh, she said it was bear bells. But they also, it was one of those things, this happens all the time, where we hiked all over, hours of hiking in the Montana wilderness, and then afterwards, we went to a bookstore in town, and I was reading about bear attacks, astonishing bear attacks. <laughs> By the sea. And it was just like, it was all about bear spray. You got to have bear spray. And I'm like, I think we're retarded. We should have got bear spray. Right. But we lived, so I guess we're not. Ah, you're fine. Now, was she doing the khaki shorts? Khaki shorts. For the, the lesbian 
lady. Oh, the lady up in the thing. Yeah, the uh, what do you call it? The ranger. Well, it's chilly up there, so she had ah, full pants I and uh, she was, but she had like eyeliner and lashes, and she had kind of a deep voice. It was kind of like a. <laughs> It doesn't sound hot. No, it sounds, sounds like a bear. <laughs> yeah. But when you yeah. hike all the way to the top and you see she had like dark curly hair and I a see. uniform and a silly hat. <laughs> yeah, you're really like, selling it. Yeah, silly hat, deep voice, big pants. <laughs> yeah. But here's the thing is you go up Bear Mountain or Big Bear or or, or uh, Danny uh, Jollis, whatever the guy's name is, the trail, Danny boy, you go up there, it's uh, it's slim picking. So you go, hey, look at this, uh, this coos and the khakis. <laughs> I think we got coos. something here. <laughs> Khaki coos. Right it. Uh, yeah. You know, when you're staring at a grizzly and then you're staring at Tina. Yes. You know, those pleated pants are starting to look pretty good. Well, anybody, yeah, you just normally a, a ranger's like an 88 year old guy. He looks like exactly. Biden up there. This was like, <laughs> yes, this was something. Exactly. She had the shadows, Jerry. You didn't see the shadows. Good right, shadow. Right, right. But you give me Pelosi and, and a collared shirt <laughs> and a whistle, I'm in. But yeah, she had, she had info and she was hot and you just want to be like, hey, let me. Fuck you behind the bear bells, you know. Uh, she might hit you with the spray. <laughs> Watch out. And I was wondering, like, can we take bear spray? What does it do to humans? If I spray you with bear yeah. spray, do you die? Does it cure the COVID you got, obviously? Interesting. Yeah. I, I gotta oh, get there, was a, there was like a viral video recently about a guy who sprayed someone else with, with bear spray. And? It, it just fucks you up wicked bad. Like mace. Like, yeah, way worse than mace, I think. I think it's way more powerful. Oh, oh okay. wow. Yeah. Mace is, have you ever been maced? No. No. Mace Windu. I did a, I did it just as a goof, you know. You get drunk with eight guys, and we had a taser, we had mace, and of course, this is pre-internet, yeah. so yeah. we had our Saturday. Wow! And uh, Macy Gray, I got tased, and and that was fun. Wait, tased or maced? We did both. Oh, I mean, you right. did, he did a little round robin, you know. You pass it on. Oh, jeez. You mace me, I mace you, and it it lasts. That's the problem with mace is yeah. you're like, all right, I, I'm good now, but you ain't good. It's yeah. stuck. Yeah, it's bad. Base is bad. I got uh, what do you call it when the Red Sox won? The uh, tear gas, and that is oh, unpleasant. Really? Yeah, oh yeah. Well, not me personally, but they tear gas the crowd. Gee, that's a hell of and a way to up. celebrate. But it was such a fun occasion that I'm running, and I was like coughing because I was hitting us. And we were like, <laughs> and we started laughing, and it was really quite fun. All right, what, what about mustard? I don't care for mustard. Gas? <laughs> yeah, no mustard gas. I think that's hard to come by. I think mustard gas is out there. Isn't it like a, is that a war thing? That was Nazis. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> mustard gas was like some Nazi oh, shit. They, 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 just, they just continued that. There's no Frenchmen. I just you don't think we're running. I don't know. Yeah, we're not running into it in everyday life. Well, I don't think. yeah, sure, like plutonium sure. exists, but uh, you can't pick it up at every corner drugstore. <laughs> Eighty-eight gigawatts. But uh, wait a minute. Is that is that out of use? Is it like Firestone where they discontinued it? I, I think, think it's like so. a fucking bomb, isn't it? Like a, a mustard bomb. gas. I think it's bad. I think yeah, it's I think the it's, Nazis. I yeah. think they mustard gas London or something. Whoa! I think that's why the teeth are all wacky. Maybe that's it. Yeah, it's a chemical warfare agent. Yeah, I think it's bad. I think it's like Saddam Hussein. This, did it that. says it causes blistering of the skin and mucous membranes on contact. Yeah, hiya, hiya, hiya. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I think yeah. it's no good. Yeah. All right. Well, mustard gas is bad. Good to know. But ketchup gas. I have that all the time when I go to a ball game. Hi, yeah. folks. Hey, this hey. is brought to you by Heinz. All right. Well, I'm learning a lot. So let me let me throw this in your uh, cavity and taint it. Holy hell. Tuesdays with Stories brought to you by Blue Chew. The temperatures aren't the only thing that's rising this summer. That's right. The episode is sponsored by Blue Chew. Confidence can take you far in life. It can also help you in the bedroom. That's where Blue Chew comes in. Blue Chew is an online service that delivers... The same active ingredients as Viagra and Cialis, but in a chewable tablet and at a fraction of the cost. You can take them anytime. Be ready whenever the opportunity arises. The process is simple. Sign up at BlueChew.com. Consult with one of their licensed medical providers. And once approved, you'll receive your prescription in days. It's not that hard. It's all done online. No visit to the doctor. No awkward conversations, no waiting in line at the pharmacy. Blue Chew tablets are made in the USA and shipped in discreet package. I've tried this stuff. It works great. It never fails. You never know. I mean, the, it's all mental, folks. The brain will really screw you. I mean, the brain has amazing attributes as well. You know, Pythagorean theorem, the periodic table, uh, bestiality. But this is... This brain can screw you, so why play the odds? 
you got a hot date, you don't want to screw it up, you want to perform, you want to bang it out, get yourself a blue chew just in case. And they taste pretty darn good. Nothing sexier than confidence. Blue chew can help to give you confidence where it counts. If you could benefit from extra confidence when it's time to perform, blue chew can help. We have a special deal for our listeners. Try blue chew free when you use our promo code Tuesdays at checkout. Just pay five clams for shipping. That is a deal. I did it. It's easy. It's quick. And it's kind of a turn on because I had a hot nurse lady I was FaceTiming with. So that was that was a nice little perk. LukeChew.com Tuesdays to receive your first month free. Tuesdays is the promo code. So visit BlueChew.com for more details and important safety information. Thank you, BlueChew, for sponsoring the pod and giving me a boner. Hello. Hey, hey, folks. Tuesdays with Stories is brought to you by... Factor. Summer is for relaxing, not grocery shopping, cooking, and doing dishes. With Factor, you can eat well without doing the work. Factor makes it easy to eat well for breakfast, lunch, and dinner, and everything in between. There are fresh, never frozen meals that are delicious and nutritious. Factor has tons of balance and delicious add ons that help you stay on track all summer, like smoothies, shakes, and snacks. Feel good all summer with calorie smart and keto options expertly proportioned to keep you on track with your goals and perfectly satisfied. Factor now offers 32 meals per week, including 11 keto options. New gourmet plus meals eating at home for extra special. To feel extra special. For an additional cost, these meals are prepared to perfection by Factor chefs and ready to eat in record time. Don't spend your after work hours in the grocery store and kitchen, let Factor deliver ready-made meals right to your door. They pre- arrive prepared by their team of chefs ready to heat and eat in two minutes. They got vegan, veggie meats, keto meals, calorie smart options, cold pressed juices, smoothies, energy bites, extra protein, veggie sides, and more to keep you fueled and focused all day long. Head to go.factor 75.com slash Tuesdays 120. I know that's a mouthful, but it's not that hard. So that's Tuesdays 120 to get 125 bucks off. Jesus. Use code Tuesdays 120 at go.factor 75.com slash Tuesdays 120 for 125 clams. Off the purchase. Mm-hmm. So, uh, had a gig this weekend. Always a treat. Jersey. Love Jersey. Love move Jersey. There. Red Bank, I'm coming, whether you like it or not. Well, oh, that's there go the, the prices. That's where the gig was. Oh, that's right. The Red Vogue. Bank. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. The big Vogue. Yeah. Wow. Yes, I'm voguing. Vogue. I could have walked there if really? I lived there. What's right by Del Mar, Belmar, whatever. I know. If I yeah. lived there. When I live there, I'll walk right over. There you go. I believe Belmar means beautiful sea. Mm. <laughs> well, Labouge that means that too. Labouge uh, is uh, mouth. A B E L L E means beautiful, but this is probably B E L, right? B E L. B E L space M A R. Yeah, I don't know what that means. I think Mar is sea, because Marisco is seafood. Right. Haha. Uh-huh. All right. We're learning. Hooked on phonics. Work for me. It says. Just, it's just showing me stuff about Bijou. the fucking city. It says uh, celebration bear spray. It's I, I don't. It's not giving me the etymology. All right, well, well, I'll keep looking. Chuck's folding. Oh, we'll get back shit. to that later. It's falling apart. All right. Oh, lovely sea. Oh, there you go. Close. Good. Close. What'd you yeah. say? It's a beautiful, beautiful sea. sea. That's, That's good. the same. same All right, I'll yeah. take it. it. I think Trebek would ask the judges, and they'd go, oh, "We're giving you credit for that." All right. I agree. Whatever happened to that guy? Oh, he died. Yeah. Oh, yeah. What is death? Ah. Uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> right. So the Daily Double. All right. So I went out to Jersey and I go, hey, Red Bank, about an hour and a half, hour and 20. I'm taking the Beamer. Ooh. It's the perfect length. I can come back that night. It's a beautiful drive. Of course. It's all green and ocean air and Jersey, baby. Like, don't say too much. You're going to ruin my housing market. You're right. They're going to fuck me. So the first night, 
I go, well, let me take the uh, I'm going to take the New Jersey Transit, which is underrated, by the way. It's not bad. Not bad. Better than the path, and LIRR's got some issues. You get on that at the wrong time, you're on there with uh, Joe Sixpack, and he's really giving you the business. You got that right. So I take the New Jersey Transit because I go, ah, Friday traffic, get into the tunnel and that stick shift, that old tin can, that's going to be ugly. So I take the New Jersey Transit. We do two shows. Dina Hashem opens. We sold it out. They were hot crowds. Wow. It's a cute town out there. I know. Oh, yeah. Stop saying that. They're going to move. Right. They're going right. to move there. You know what it does to the housing market when we talk about Red Bank. You're right. <laughs> Repelling. Don't go. It's all blacks. So uh, <laughs> we, go, we go out there, and uh, Dina kills it. Great time. Come back, and then you go, well, shit, now i got to ride the train back an hour to Penn Station mm. on a Friday night. Eesh. And I get to the train station, outdoor station, very lonely. You know, you're just like, this is show business, huh? Yep. You know, you're sitting on that track just waiting. You know, you're looking down. It's all black. And then all, in comes a bunch of people who are also catching the train, and they were at the show. Oh. So they're on the other side God. of the tracks, and I'm on this side, and they're going, hey, Comedy, huh? Oh, yeah, geez. yeah. And then you realize this is showbiz. Yeah. This is what it is. Like everybody thinks, hey, did did a meet and greet, sign some shit, photos. Oh, that was nice. That wasn't bad. That was a winner. And uh chicken dinner. And now I'm going, Yeah, what's going on? They're like, Hey, you know, let's do some uh selfie on the other side of the track selfie. Ah. And then Eventually, we cool off. Like, they sit down, and they start talking, and I sit over here, and I go, all right, I think we're done there. And this other couple walks up, sweet as pie, cute Queens couple, look very Italian, very whoppy, and they go, we saw you standing over here. How about a ride? Mm. And I go, well, let's see now. And they go, hey, we're not weirdos. We're fans. We got some weed in the car. We, We won't bother you, but we see you sitting on the train station here. We're going to Queens. We can drop you off. Interesting. Uh, now I'm in a dilemma because I'm like, uh, nothing coming. <laughs> so, and it's you know twelve fifteen at night. Oh boy. So I'd be getting home at you know one thirty. Then you got to get from Penn Station to home. But then you go. Well, then I got to chat with these weirdos. Right. And I got to sit in the car with them. And they got to know where I live. Oh, uh, we can have them drop at the cellar. That's yeah. true. Something like that. That is true. Mm-hmm. Now, what would you do? Well, I'm not, you know, first of all, the, the, the weed's not selling it to be like this. We're not weirdos. We're just going to get fucked up and drive you on the highway. Right, <laughs> I mean, right. I we're going to do, do some drugs and then take you home. I would say, personally, would say no. I, would, I, would, I don't want to ride in a car with boys. I, I just, uh, I'm not a big get a ride from strangers guy. Yeah, because right. you gotta. Yeah, it's a lot to be on. It's a lot. The thing, and uh, you you end up losing fans that way. Ah, uh, because you're Cause just I'm going. There. Well, I like baseball. It's fun to watch. Right. Hockey's fun. They're like this. Jesus, yeah. you got to be on. I don't want to be on. I want to be off. You gotta be Danny on. You're like, hey, you ever seen Ken Burns' uh, Parks doc? And they're like, whoo, geez, this guy's brutal. <laughs> exactly, exactly. <laughs> I, I feel like Costanza at the office. Any time in there is only gonna hurt my chances right. of getting promoted. Good point. Like, like we saw him once, and then he told us a long story about, you know, acid reflux and uh, the, the Boston College football or something, and they're right. going to hate me. Okay, well, this is another factor. So the night before was the lady's birthday. So I took her out. We did a whole wine and dine. I bought gifts. I did drinks. We did food, and I was hurting. Like, okay. it was one of those hungover days. Hmm. What would you do? I would definitely take the ride. It's going to oh. cut your time. To, well, it's, it's here's the thing. It's after midnight. Yo, yeah, yeah. And it's going to cut your time by, like, half like it's gonna take like an hour but to get there's home no pressure on you nobody expects That's anything true. good from you yeah, we you know, know what i mean you have no talent <laughs> yes they're just like okay we got a loser in the back right. you know what i mean he's, he's taking up the whole seat yeah. now if they need uh, to, somebody to film something maybe they could they could hire yes, you yes if they gotta get something by a deadline six months from now sure they could sure. get you to that they want to hear about your fourth threesome this week who knows <laughs> by the way just a side note everyone's like what's joe gonna make fun of chuck for now that this is out 
There's still the Grove 34 video. That's four months oh. old. There's plenty. To, there's plenty to complain yeah. about about this son of an onion. I forgot about that one. That one's got yeah, yeah, yeah. that one's old. That's on older it. than the. <laughs> yeah, I think that was on uh, VHS. That puppy. We should plug Hot Gay Sets. Yes. Uh, Chuck, Chuck nailed it. It's it. unbelievable. It's killed amazing. It. Great reviews. New yes. one. T.J. Miller. Louis on it. Soda's, Soda's on there. there whole time. It's, Soda. Uh, Did you watch it? Did you guys watch it? I watched. I watched eight minutes. I watched. Uh, I had to go back to the parks department. <laughs> I watched the trailer. It's very good. Yeah, it's and I read the reviews. Good. You did great work. Great. Yes, yeah, great. You're, you're, it's one. It might be your best work. <laughs> the trailer. Yes, yeah, might, thanks, might, wow. might be anything. Who knows? I mean, anything yeah, might yeah. Be. Yeah. Couldn't tell. It was I mean, awesome. You're awesome. Yeah, yeah, Take yeah. the ride. We love you. I you're very myself. fit. You did yeah. a great job at yeah. the beacon. Hair I'd make them leave so I could kill myself when the train comes. I'd tie <laughs> yeah. myself to the tracks. <laughs> twist my own mustache. Well, you like weed. Uh, I mean, I take edibles to go to sleep. I don't really get high. You know. Well, all right. So, I didn't take the ride a year, Ooh. two years ago. I would have taken it, but the hangover. I was like, not only do I not want to be on, but now I really don't want to be on with this hangover because I was just like, oh, I got through those two shows. I did a meet and greet. I'm going home. They leave. They're very nice, sweet, sweet couple. Train delay one hour. Oh, <laughs> ah. sister's ass. Oh, That's what the whole time I'm going, oh, those fucking dirty wops. I should have blown them both and smoked the weed and put that pipe oh. right up my ass. Oh. So now the train's delayed. Then you get on it. Not to mention these pirates and characters and misfits on this fucking ghost train I'm on. Holy shit. I'm talking bag lady, weird Chinese guy making origami, oh. the yelling. Uh, the old black guy with weird gray, uh, like the the clumpy hair. Uh, the squiggles. The squiggles. Yes, yes. The gray squiggles. He's shouting about Allah and the government and anal and all this, and I'm just like, could have got along with him. That's true. It's basically doing our podcast. But uh, I'm just sitting there like, oh god. Then there's, there's like the one cute girl, like, please, no one look at me. <laughs> you know, don't touch me. And uh, it was pretty rough. Ended up getting home at three in the morning. Oh my tits. Then you get to Penn Station. Now that's a whole other bag of hammers. Then you get down to your house. Forgot my keys. What? Forgot my fucking keys in the oh. hangover stupor. I jumped on the train. I got out of the house. I forgot my effing keys. Oh, uh, keys, Jerry. Keys. So this has happened before where I forget my keys, but usually somebody just comes in and out. It's an apartment building. Yeah. And then I get up to my apartment door, and my neighbor, we're cool with, great neighbors. I got really good neighbors. I got of a sitcom. They have keys to the to our door. Mm. Now, all I got to do is get in that front door, but it's 3 in the morning. Who the fuck? I live with a bunch of old folks. Who the fuck's coming in and out of my house at 2 in the morning or 3 in the morning? Mm. Finally, I wait there. I'm texting the lady. Wait, she's passed she's out. She's out. She's out cold. You can't buzz the door? I've been buzzing on Bubba. She could sleep through the air conditioner. The Holocaust. You yes. The AC. She's all she's all Z's. And I'm just Bleh! and now I'm going, I'm getting desperate. So I'm just going Bleh! I'm doing like a kid in an elevator, just hitting the whole wall oh, of God. buzzers. So I'm sure the whole building hates me. I end up pissing out there in the front. Ugh. I don't know what to do. Probably about four in the morning, a guy walks out for a jog. Like an old man oh, wow. who He's jogs like, at four in the morning. It's like Rocky. I know. He drank the eggs and the whole thing, and he beat up a black guy. And then I got in, got to the apartment, four o'clock, longest day of my life, hugged the cat, punched the lady, went to bed. Oh, it's exhausting. It's brutal just thinking about it. You're not I the first know. one to piss out there. That's nice. That's true. By the way, you were like kook bait. Oh, if they saw you, my you got God! That right. I mean, that's my worst nightmare. I told you about the guy who got stabbed in the lungs right I over know, there. I know, crazy. Oh, I've, I've seen more crack use in my area in the last week. I saw a guy just on a porch, just, and I walked by, and I went, and he goes, "Okay, he's cool." I want to show the crackheads I'm cool with it, but this guy was full Hunter Biden out there, just lighting up right on the stairs. God, that's scary. Definitely crack. Wasn't weed or uh... Uh, you see the pipe with the. Uh, it's that skinny pipe and it has a scent. Oh, I, I know got, the crack I got scent. A skinny pipe right here. <laughs> yeah, and a, well, and a crack scent. I'll blow it. <laughs> I'm addicted. Um, God, it's an epidemic. But yeah, it's back, baby. Crack is back. It's like the '80s again. And uh, but the next day, I got some sleep and I took the car out and had a great ride. Boy, that's nice. 
Uh, no, no problems to the tunnel. That car rides so good. Turns out, I have no insurance. That's been I haven't paid that in months. And then my uh, my registration's expired as well, which oh, I didn't geez. know. And I was running toll booths like a mother. There's no easy pass on my car. So what do you do? You gotta get easy pass. Is that the whole thing? It's like it just comes with the car. I know, but I thought hey, I'll just pay cash. But a lot of these are no cash, no cash. Yeah, now they, they snap the license plate and, and send you a bill. So I'm double fucked because I don't have insurance or and I'm running tolls or a, 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 a registration. So when that bill comes tallying up, it's going to be a doozy. I'll bet you can afford car insurance. <laughs> It's like thirty well, bucks a month. Or I something. have it. I just haven't renewed it. Uh, I just renewed yesterday. My life. You feel like such an adult. I went on. They sent me the thing, and I went on and click, click, click. Good for clack. you. Feels good. It's, a, it's such a scam, though. I like know. you want to keep your same license plate. And I go, yeah, that was cute at the end. It had like Jesus. a little clown nose at the end. <laughs> and I said, yeah, I'd like to keep my license plate. And they go, all right, that's one hundred and seventy bucks. And I'm like, shouldn't it? Not cost money <laughs> to keep it. I already have it. I'm keeping yeah, it. Exactly. What a crazy thing to be like. You want to keep uh, your sneakers? Yeah. Give me eighty bucks. That's the Chris Rock joke. You pay for it in case shit. But if shit don't happen, shouldn't I get my money back? Yes, it's like a shakedown. It's a shakedown, Michael J. Fox. So yeah, uh, but that car runs like a goddamn champ. I went to the the washing place. I washed it. It feels car good wash. to wash a car. That's what it's called. And uh, with uh, my buddy Andrew, and then Veter opened on Saturday. We had a, we just hung out, and it's a whole different ball game when you got a pal with you. Nothing better than a Veter hang. Love Great a Veter hang, and drove that car back. And I got to tell you, that car it's seven nineteen seventy three. It's fifty years old, forty nine, and you're just you cannot text, you can't think, you right. uh, you're in it because it's just it's rattling, and it's about this big. You've seen it. It's, it's you feel like Mr. Bean in that motherfucker, and yeah. uh, the stick shift, the the clutch, the pedal, the whole the, the the gauges don't work at all. Now is it is it if you get hit, is it certain death or is oh, it one of these? Yeah. It was fifty years old. They built it with steel back then because no, sometimes you have that shit. No, this is a little go kart. It's built for speed and zipping around. If I get hit by a, a pigeon, I'm rolling over into a ditch and bleeding out. Oh boy, no airbag and definitely no crumple. Can you imagine this show with just Chuck and I? Woo! Yikes. Yeah! Ah. <laughs> Yeesh! This guy's hoping I uh, get hit by a, a hobo. I'd have to bring Shelby into that chair just ah. to kind of just to give some, you know, add some charisma. Yikes! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, when I think Shelby, I think. Charisma. Oh, we gotta do the thing. By the way, we gotta talk to the desk. Oh Shelby yeah, we'll get on that. Urgent message. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah I know. I have like, that written down in my notes too. I gotta okay. get a key card too. Right. I give you my key card. I know. Key card. Tuesdays and Stories is brought to you by Liquid IV. Workouts, yoga, meditation help you jumpstart your day, clear your headspace, and give you energy. Summer is here, and you need to be proactive and staying fueled and hydrated. Making hydration a priority can help you feel healthier in your everyday life. One stick of Liquid IV and 16 ounces of water hydrates you two times faster than water alone. Liquid IV products Tastes great with 10 refreshing refreshing flavors like Concord Grape, Lemon Lime, Pina Colada, and Tropical Punch. Love that Tropical Punch. Liquid IV contains five essential vitamins, B3, 5, 6, 12, and vitamin C, and three times the electrolytes of traditional sports drinks. I literally drink one every morning. I like them. They break it up. You know, sometimes the, the tap water or the Brita can get a little, you know, funky or stale or queefy. Get a liquid IV and it tastes better and you're getting the nutrients and you're getting the hydration. I say go for it. Get on it, folks. It's, uh, it's good first thing in the morning before a workout when you feel run down or after a long night out. I know about that. Convenient packaging makes it easier to stay hydrated when traveling. And it is non-GMO and free from gluten, dairy, and soy. woo Grab your Liquid IV in bulk nationwide at Costco. Get 25% off when you go to liquidiv.com and use code TUESDAYS. That's 25% off anything using promo code TUESDAYS at liquidiv.com. 
Two Scissors Stories brought to you by Policy Genius. It's an unpredictable economy. Life insurance can offer you peace of mind. Anyone who relies on you financially, a child, a parent, or even a business partner will have a financial cushion if something happens to you. Life insurance typically gets more expensive as you age, so it's smart to get a policy sooner rather than later. Policy Genius is an insurance comparison website that makes it easy to compare quotes from top companies like AIG and Prudential to find your lowest price. You could save 50% off or more on life insurance by comparing quotes with Policy Genius. Wow, that's pretty great. Just click the link in our description or head to policygenius.com slash Tuesdays to get personalized quotes and minutes and find the right policy for your needs. The licensed agents at Policy Genius work for you, not the insurance company. They're on hand through the entire process to help you understand your options so you can make decisions with confidence. Since 2014, Policy Genius has helped over 30 million people shop for insurance and placed over $150 billion in coverage. Head to PolicyGenius.com slash Tuesday to get your free life insurance quotes and see how much you could save. You know, I had a good moment. I do pull-ups on scaffolding mm-hmm. like a psycho. And this guy drove by and he goes, make that money, which I don't know what that means, but mm-hmm. I, I liked it. I think it means like, you know, you got to make you got to make the money. Yeah. Like he was rooting for me. <laughs> yeah. It has nothing to do with pull ups, but I, I got what he was saying. Right. Mm-hmm. I just had a thing where the guy that dances in the train, I just gave him a, a Finsky. What? Well, I know I'm not uh, a big fan of the dancing in the Cleveland? train. But so I was I was standing <laughs> in the aisle. I don't sit anymore because I'm afraid of the kooks. So I was sure. standing there, strap hanger, as uh, they say. Yes. Which is no straps, by the way. So we can no. upgrade that. Used to be straps. Yeah, it should be a bar hanger. Yeah. I think that's like you know, my parents. Sure, sure, an alcoholic. Um, so I'm, I'm, I'm holding on to the bar, uh, and then the guy comes in shirtless with the Bluetooth speaker, which is always <laughs> scary when you... Ah, uh, jeez. That's COVID. You see the guy come in with a, um, you know, a, a Bluetooth, and he's shirtless, so I'm like, here we go, I can't stand it. But then he started clearing people out by the pole, and he walked up towards me, and I go, you need this uh, space? And he's like, nah, brother. And he, oh, and, he, and, he gave me, nice. and he gave me the pound. So I felt like we connected. That's great. We had a nice connection because, you know, he's trying to make a living. I'm like, you need the space here? I'll go wherever you need me to go. Sure. You make your living. I'll make mine. Also, I don't want to get kicked to the face with that Air Force One. Right. So we pounded and then he danced and nobody gave him money. So I was like, wow, well, we had the connection. And so I went in the pocket and all I had was a 20 and a five. Mm. So I guess, I'm like, I guess I'm giving this guy five bucks. That's kind of a metaphor for entertainment. Like if you, even if you're not that good and no one gives a shit about your act, if you connect with people, they'll pay you. That's a good point. Is that something you or is that a, a leap and a half? Well, evidently we're not connected on the Patreon because it's going south. <laughs> but, <laughs> yeah, that's um, true, yeah. Oh, the coughing, Jesus. Oh, I mean, help me out. I'm dying here, folks. Uh, hold it in for the Christ's sake. Sorry, I got you got to get the cough. Get the cough drops. I brought you the cough drops. I don't want to do them on air because it's all clinkety clankety. But all right. Beep, beep. I think you'd be fine. <laughs> Killing me. Yeah, um, yeah, jeez. Oh, I had another thing. That salt I'm... water, hot, hot water, salt water. That really helps. Mm. Instant relief. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Gargle. Yeah. It's got to yeah. taste horrible. It tastes well, bad. you don't drink it. Ah. You gargle it. Got it. I guess you'd still taste it. Yeah. You yeah. Have to swallow to taste. I don't like. I like salt. It's, my ex. it's like jizz. <laughs> well. All right. <laughs> uh, no wonder I you love, like the beach. I love jizz. <laughs> He's just bathing in semen. <laughs> Saving on the boat. All right. Hold on. I had You had something else, didn't you? Oh, I wanted to ask you. So, we've all seen the movie. You do a number on uh, old Steve and Deb. Yeah. They saw it in Beantown. Well, Let's get the, 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 the verdict. Well, it's not Steve you? and Deb. It's mom and dad. It's, uh, you know, it's, it's uh, Mr. and Mrs. Jeff. Uh, we didn't do well with names. I don't think they have any names. I see. Shirley, Shirley, and uh, I don't know what Shirley the dad's. Oh, Chris, guessed. Chris was the dad's. I can't think of the old names I wrote. Well, what, Shirley what, what, what and Chris, do they, your parents think of the film? They loved it. They're going back tonight. They're oh. going to see it at the Kingston Mall, which is where I used to see movies as a kid. So uh, yeah, they're they're going, and uh, they were good. We we had the big premiere in New York. First of all, we were at the Beacon, and uh, what's your name again? Chuck shot it. Yep. 
And uh, that was quite an event, wouldn't you say? Oh, it was an incredible night. I, I same thing. I wanted to. I didn't want to bother you. I was like, man, I was in awe. I was I was uh, tearing up watching the movie. Oh, See you. I was. Stop. I was standing backstage before you were being called up by Ron oh. Bennington. I went over to you. I held your shoulder. I had a little tear. I hugged oh, Sarah. Stop. I was very invested. You touched Sarah. A little bit. Oh, <laughs> Jesus Christ. Well, that's nice. I didn't love it. But uh, but I just wanted to think, your parents, are they in denial? Do they drink the whole time? How do they get through it? I think they enjoyed it. So we did the beacon. The beacon was special because that was the big, what, you got a question? I was just going to say, you should talk about the beacon because it was like yes. it was like a, a blanket of love I over can't the whole crowd. About this. Big love blanket, a quilt, if Ooh, you will. An AIDS quilt. AIDS quilt. I've had a quilt in a long time. <laughs> Love a quilt. So it's just this the beacon, you know, everyone's been there. It's huge. It's massive. You know, everybody performs there every couple of weeks now, but it it, like it's it. huge, packed. And uh, it's so fun because some people are, some of the people were nervous, but everyone's like, are you nervous? And I'm like, I'm not nervous because I'm not doing anything. We already did the thing. Right. There's nothing to do. If you're huh. doing a show, you're like, oh my God, I'm nervous. I, gotta, I hope I don't flub a line or fuck up. But this is like... We made the thing a year. Jesus, we made the thing a year ago. So I'm like, we're just going to hang out and watch it, and uh, it was very exciting. We're all hanging. It's like a reunion. You see, DePaulo's there, right. and his wife, and Tony V, and Chris Walsh. I hadn't seen, and we I, we got a hotel. I got a hotel in the city. What? Because I was like, well, let's go be near there. Let's live it up. So we got the same hotel as. Uh, Chris Walsh and his girl, Sabina. I forget the name of it. Fuck, it was a cool hotel, too. Right across the street. Oh, nice. And it was a beauty. We got upgraded. I, I charmed the guy. I can really charm a guy. Love a charm. Women. Lucky charm. I said, well, we're visiting all the way from Queens. And the guy said, uh-huh. He's like, oh, you're local. Yada, yada. I said, I'm going to give you the hookup. So he hooked us up. And I saw Chris. He's like, he hooked us up, too. And I was like, ah, I think he's just doing that. Well, once again, connecting. Well, we connected. So it was a good connect. And then uh, we walked around. I went trying to buy new sneakers, but the store was cool. I got a haircut, a fresh movie haircut, which Love was fun. a movie haircut. And that was exciting. So then we walk over there. It's time, and you go in, and the movie's on the big, huge screen. Bennington's there. Louie's there. We test the sound, and it's like that huge sound. And him and I, had, I remember from the podcast years ago, we went and saw Apocalypse Now there. All right. So it was like a full circle anal sex thing. And we really filled it out. And then you, I walked out to go find the seats and say hello to some people. And Alan is there. Alan's there. He's there with Beverly. And, I mean, Tony Deo, Moody McCarthy. Oh, love. Uh, Sam Murrell is there. That's Gary Veter's there. Oh. Uh, who? Ari. Ari was there. And, Rosebud. Uh, Rosebud and Andy Haynes and Karen Fian and Ian Lara. They were like up in the top. Wow. Bullshit. Palufo. Uh, no Palufo, ah. but Steve Rogers was there. Ah. Siobhan was there. Uh, who else? Um, bunch of comics. Yeah. I don't know. <laughs> who else was there? A bunch of people. I was busy. I was I was running around with, with Jason Katz. Yeah, you were shooting. I was happy for you. I was like, oh, look at Chuck doing the thing. He yeah. was shooting. And then... The whole thing. And so then we did the big intro, which was fun. I gave a big speech, and that was exciting. Did you prepare a speech or just wing it? No prepare. A little bit of a wing. Uh, so then the funniest part of the whole night was right we had to go get into our seats. So we yeah. did this big thing in front of the 2,000 people. They go, yeah, we are. Enjoy the film. And then we were the guys that were like, Oops, excuse me, pardon me. Come on. Ah. Come through. And they didn't dim the lights. You just see like I Louie know. and I like assholes walking through the whole thing. It was so embarrassing. Oh, the the opening fun. was killer. Like Louie came out and he called Joe out and then you guys talked together and you guys were awesome. It was, wow, it was such a great open to the movie and you could tell that Everyone was like, fuck yeah. It felt more like a sports crowd yeah. chanting for their team. Did you feel that? Yeah, it was very exciting because you could wow. feel this was such a huge event. Man. And Louis never did anything like this even before. Right. He'd never played a movie at a big theater. Mm -hmm. So it was very exciting. And we sat there and, you know, Sarah and her sister. And then I could see Alan's over there. Wow. And the, the movie, oh, there was these huge laughs. And you forget mm -hmm. how fun it is to watch a movie in a crowd. Yes. I brought this up on Joe and Ron on Talk Movies. But remember, like... I went and saw Rushmore, and it was sold out just because wow. that was what was going. Like yes, to watch yes. a ninety-minute, you know, low-budget comedy yeah. in a packed house. I saw Juno in a theater, and it killed. Now you go to the movies, and it, there's nobody there ever, or it's fucking whatever, uh, you know, 
Marvel assholes, whatever. Avenger queef. So it was exciting. And Vader gets a huge laugh. He does the, the limping thing. And that was like a massive. And the laughs were so big, you couldn't even hear lines. Oh, it was crazy. Oh, I love that. It, it, was, it was incredible. And what was cool, too, is like, I, you know, I was a fan of yours for so many years before we started working together. Oh, and there was well, so that's... much stuff in the movie that was like a callback to stuff you know about Joe personally. Oh, wow. Oh. Well, you should have said this before. I didn't know you liked me. Uh, <laughs> I've been I trashing you. you. you know I love you. Oh, I love no, you. In the beginning, like I'm not like going to give anything away, but that first quote, I'm like, he's been saying this for years. Yes, he's yes. Been saying huge it. laugh, amazing, big laugh. Killer. Wow, that was exciting. Yes. Big laugh right off the bat, first laugh of the night, and we, you know, you know Louie and I were punching each I other. Know. Going, he must oh be back there. It was very exciting, and then the mood it gets very emotional and the thing, and so that was very exciting. Mm -hmm. And then you go backstage and you do the the Q and A thing, the panel. And then your world falls apart because now you're just podcasting. Uh -huh. And you know how it is with podcasting. Everything you say, you're like, was that bad? I made a joke about his mother. Because oh, Louie's right. like, yeah, my mother passed away. And I was like, but I read recently she deserved it, uh -huh. which is a joke I've been doing for 20 years. Yeah, and then he's like, ugh. And then you're like, God damn. I'm in front of 2,000 people. I'm like, I just made a joke about his mother dying. Is, is he mad? Does <laughs> Did that I get suck? a laugh? I don't think so. Oh, no, I didn't get much of a laugh. Oh, that's not good. And then I flubbed a line, and I made fun. It was just like, No, the Q&A, he he's completely misrepresenting it. You were killer on the Q&A. Oh, but You uh, got mic drop laugh moments in the Q&A. Oh, wow. thanks. Well, it's going to be on YouTube. Or something. I think it is on YouTube. There's, the clip, it is on YouTube, and like the biggest laugh is in there, and it's awesome. It's oh, yeah, killer. The yeah, trailer is on there. Yeah. It's but like a, it's not the, not no, the whole thing. It's like a one-minute cut of the Q&A. Yeah, yeah, okay, yeah, okay. Yeah. I saw that. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, that was fun. Yeah, yeah, Louis liked it after I convinced him that you're um, you're good. <laughs> he was like, "What? Who do we hire? These guys are horrible." And I was like, "Ah, oh, they're nice guys." And he's like, "All right, fine." Uh, that part's a joke, but um, killer at the Q and A. But you know what I mean? It just sends you into the thing of like, should I not have said that? Was that bomb? Was that stupid? Because I'm like podcast, but I'm trying to be funny. Yeah, right. Well, I'm just like, let's be silly, and then you go to the after party, which was exciting, but like, it, like we talked about it before, it's like it's so loud, and everyone's there and saying hello. Ryan Long was another comic who was there, mm -hmm. and then all the musicians from the movie were there, and all the extras were there, and so you're trying to, it's like a wedding. You're trying to like, oh, yeah, oh, that, oh, that, yeah, that was crap. Oh my god, that was wild, and it was just pumping music. So that was. Stressful. The after party was tough and stressful, but cool. And then wow. the next day, we got to go to Boston to play it in Boston. And everybody was kind of flying there or taking the train or whatever. So I got a wild fucking dick up my ass. And so I reached out to DePaulo and Louie and Bill Sheft and said, what if I get a van? I'll get us a Sprinter Ooh, van. Ooh, I love a Sprinter. So I got a big 15-foot high Sprinter van, which is not cheap, one-way no. ride New York to Boston. It was me, Louis, DePaulo, his wife, Bill Sheft, and Sarah. And it was Ooh, the time of our lives. What a we gang. Had, the premiere was so good and so exciting. Then we're going to Boston. It's sold out. We're all in the van. We stopped at McDonald's and we sat in a round table. I'm like, this is the most hilarious celebrity sighting. Of course. We're just like a roadside McDonald's in upstate New York. I and, picked uh, Nick with the crown on. Oh, oh we were Burger dying. King. Well, Fuck. whatever. But <laughs> we were, hot. I mean, I was doing the fry trick with, when you go. And shoot the fry across the room. Oh, classic. And uh, we were just howling, laughing, and telling these old stories. And it felt like a road gig. It was really fun. But uh, we're going to our movie. Oh, my God. See, this is the special stuff. Everybody thinks it's the beacon. It's the blowjob. This is the the sprinter is the magic. The van was big. And then my card got denied because it came up. Chase was like, this is fraudulent. Who buys a $1,600 <laughs> one-way van? And, and it was so McDonald's. bad because I was the guy who was like, I'm buying. I'm getting, I owe you guys everything. I'm getting the van. And then they were like, denied. <laughs> the guy's like, my friend, your car does not work. And I'm like, this. oh, don't worry about it. <laughs> and uh, the driver was like howling, laughing the whole time, too. He was just like doing it because we're just telling stories. Wait, a driver? Yeah, you hire a driver. Oh, I thought you just rented a van and drove it. You oh, hired I'm not a driving van. the bus. <laughs> no, a guy. You hire a, a guy. It's, they take you. What? Chartered. Charter. Yeah. We'll Holy. probably do that in Tampa. Please. Yeah, we'll charter, baby, because I'm right. not driving you assholes around. I'm going home early. You're the DD. I don't want to be a DD. All My right. mother's got double Ds. Yeah, they're nice. Uh, but... So we go to Boston, and Dungeons then it and gets dragons. stressful because you're like, well, now my family's coming, and, uh, you know... It's pretty intense. Sure, the fun is gone. Party's over. But the movie's a movie. That's Jeff, Jazz, the whole thing. My family's much different than the family in the movie. Extremely different. So we get up there, and uh, now it's like, we're at a hotel there, of course, and now we're like this, oh my God, this is going to be crazy. 
So it was stressful, but exciting. Packed house again. And then then you got all the boss people. Tom Dustin's there. Mike yep. Whitman. Yep. Jimmy Whitman. Dan Bulger. Uh, Alvin David. Hey, Big Al. The whole gang is there. And uh, so that was Different fun. love fest. Different love fest. And, of course, my family. Derek's family's there. I got an itchy nose. I'm not coked up. Mm. Uh, but Boston was really, really fun and cool. And then that after party was nice because we had the place to ourselves and it was quiet. My family was there and it's good laughs there. Good time. Great to see everybody. But again, just overwhelmed with uh, socializing, emotion, stress. And then we went to Chicago the next day. Got to be a little relieving to go to a place where you don't know 400 people. Well, Chicago was nice because the, the rest of the cast didn't come. It was just me and Sarah flew together and then Ron and Louie went together. And on stage, it was just me, Ron and Louie. And that was really fun. And by the third night, you're like, you can't watch the same movie three nights no, in a row. No, no. So we just kind of sat in the uh, you know Wilkes Booth box. Sure. And uh, we all had a threesome. Nice. But that was fun. Love and, um, that was, And then the Professor Pizza came. Ah, oh, he's a good kid. He made some pizza. Jeff Garland came and Jesus. hung out. Jesus. So we chatted with him. He saw the movie, and uh, that was fun. Al Franken went and saw the movie. Whoa. Common, the rapper Common. Common. Oliver, Oliver Stone went and saw the movie. What? Yeah. Stone. Jeez. Yeah. Stoney Baloney. Get out of here. JFK. Uh, the other one. The Doors. Wall Street. Uh, Platoon. Wow. Born on the 4th of July. Born on the 4th of uh, July. Yeah. yeah. He probably was upset about mm. the title. Uh, oh, but, um, yeah. So that was exciting. Then Chicago. Then we went to the Sox Cubs game. Wrigley. Jeez. Louis bought us like box seats with the hookup with the free business. That was fun. He left in the middle of the game to fly home. Sarah and I walked all the way back along the lake, and that was special. We fucked. We went and had a nice Italian mood at Rosebud's right across the street. Oh, this is the best part. This is the best part. I got to tell you this. Lay it on me, fatty. I cried. I'm gay. I fucking came and shit and cried. So, uh. so Saturday night, we watched the movie, and then Sunday, we're sticking around to go to the Red Sox game, uh. and I go for a long walk in the morning. I call my mother and whatever, and uh, I, get, I get a tea, and I go to Joe and the Juice. I have a ginger shot because I've been exposed to COVID, yes. and I'm, I'm drinking my tea. I'm walking. Tested. Beautiful weather. Beautiful <laughs> weather. It's so nice. I'm walking back, and while I'm talking to my mother... There's a bunch of autograph people outside the hotel. And ah. I go, oh, there's a bunch of autograph seekers here. Must be a celebrity stand here. We're staying at one of the nicer hotels, the Peninsula, which is one of the best hotels in the country. Is that right? Oh, big time. So I walk in, and I go, oh, that's fun. There's celebrities, whatever. I'm on the phone. I go, okay, I'll call you later. I come up the elevator. I get off, and I go, I recognize this guy. It's the Boston Red Sox! Trevor Story! Alex Verdugo! I saw Alex Cora, the manager. The Red Sox are there. I turned into a child. I started crying. Crying, Jerry! I mean, this I just couldn't, started sobbing. This couldn't get more make-a-wishy. You're shooting your movie. You're riding a van with Lou. You got a charter. You're going to the game. You got the box seats. You got the wetness. And now you're squirting. And now you're hanging out with the Sox. I thought that one was empty. I had an empty one and a full one. I knocked over the full one. There we go. Yeah, there's, there's the empty paper one. towel over there. Holy oh, hell. shit, it's all what over a, the stuff. What a weekend. But I got... Problems, I think, because of all the emotion from the, the premiere, and then the other premiere, and then the third premiere, I'm just on edge. I'm boiling and bubbling, and there's all this emotion, and I turn into a boy because I saw the socks, and I love the team. and Unreal. I just I, I got emotional because I felt like a kid, and then we did a head nod, me and uh, uh, Trevor Story, because I, like, I, I, I take pride in my celebrity sightings. You don't, you don't like rub like the wrong way. And then uh, Verdugo, I said, go get him. He goes, thanks, brother. Hey. That was fun, and then uh, that was exciting. So I went upstairs, and Sarah's asleep. I'm like, the Red Sox are here. Ah, and she's like, what? Who cares? Uh, yeah, she's tough. <laughs> and I texted my mother, and I was like, I found out who the celebrity was. And the exclamation, she's like, you? Question mark? And I was like, no, no, no. Nah, Verdugo. It was the Sox. But don't you hate when you somebody guesses a bigger <laughs> thing, and then you're like, no, nah, no. Nah, was... different thing. Way to ruin it, It was bitch. the Sox. But uh, yeah, I saw the manager and a couple of the players, and that was exciting. And, uh, wow. Then went to the game and were they they weren't in full uh, gear. No, no, they're oh. in uh, just dress street clothes or whatever. I see. I they got see. the bags and the big guys. Not huge. Those guys aren't huge. Really? Now, there's some big guys, but those weren't the big guys. Those I, are little guys. I was doing a gig in Vancouver once, staying at a at a pretty decent hotel, and 
I get in an elevator, and these 6'4 guys are all in there, these fucking Scandinavian Viking motherfuckers. And I'm I'm, not, I'm in between of them all. I'm, you know, in the middle of all of them. And I, you, you become a woman. You're like, I want to fuck all of you. Like, oh, I yeah. feel like I feel like a lady. I feel little. I feel pretty. I feel safe. And then they got out, and somebody goes, oh, shit, that was the whole hockey team or whatever. The, I was there. The Dallas Stars. The Dallas that was Stars. the festival. Yes. That we were all there. That was at Vancouver. Yeah, but you get in an elevator with with real men who are like chiseled and muscular and successful, and uh, you you want to blow them. They're men with it. jobs, Jerry. Jobs. Uh, but yeah, it was a thrill, and um, yeah, great weekend. And then now the movies uh, it's play. Well, this is we got extended another week, so it's probably still Woo! playing at Cinema Village. Lemley Theater in Santa Monica, they've upped us a third week, three weeks in a row, and we, we've beat a bunch of movies in the box really? office. Really? It's crazy. Yeah, we're wow. up, about $300,000. Did you? The movie, not us. Oh, okay. I'm not making anything. Did you ever think, I mean, four years ago, shooting a movie, Louis C.K., Nick DiPaolo, I mean, it's pretty bananas. You're at the Schubert, Jim. Well, DiPaolo I saw coming, but I don't right, know right. about the, I shot um, low there. We've been, uh, we've been together for a while, uh, but... Ron Bennington on stage uh, at the Beacon, uh, Chuck's a mass shooter. I mean, pretty good. Yeah, I mean, it's crazy. If you told me four years ago I'd be working with Chuck, I would have been pretty sad. But yeah, um, yeah, that's but not But now good. it's not bad. You know, he seems nice. He's, he's coming around. Yeah, he's got the he's got cool outfits. I like the outfits for yeah, sure. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah the the hair's nice. Really shine. Big swoop. Yeah, good hair. Thanks. He's Thank got you. a big mop of red hair. Yeah, but the uh, <laughs> the outfit screams picnic. But the hair looks great. Second like um, picnic comment about my outfits, but that's all right. But no, it's very exciting. The movie's kicking ass. Go see it in the theaters. It'll stream soon, which is going to be, that's going to be big. Oh, that'll be exciting. Um, and you get a whole other world of of opening up exposure. And big promotion-y things, so that's going to be fun. But yeah, it's been very exciting, very fun, and uh, Montana was the coolest, but I feel like we're running out of time, so maybe I'll tease the Montana. Ah, the baseball. Baseball. Yeah. Yeah, yeah lay it on me. I yeah, want to hear we're all over about an that. hour right now. Oh, Holy Jesus shit. Christ. All right, well, where we are you going to go? be? You got, um, you doing, you well, doing you want to s- open the present? I think that's pretty fun. All right, we can save it the Patreon. Why does that be, maybe that'd be a Patreon? All right. Patreon. The Patreon's huge. How do you? How do we explain the Patreon? Will you tell them about the Patreon? Sure. We got a we got a hot gay sets on there. We got all kinds of stuff. What do you mean explain it? That's all, right, all I'll, kinds I'll of great stuff. Well, I mean, people go there. The fucking list is always hawking this stuff. Tell them how good it is. Oh, oh, yeah. The Patreon's amazing. I mean, it's every live ep, all the hot gay sets, all the must queef TVs, all the questions. You guys send in questions, we answer them. We got all kinds of goodies. You're crazy if you're not on it. We're the most. I think diverse and fun Patreon. A lot of people just do an extra ep. Come on. We go hard. Yeah. We got games. We got activities. We got queefs. We got pods. We got all kinds of guests. We do bonuses every week. Every we do week. We an ad-free version of the main episode every week. We're dropping all the original Tuesdays episodes that aren't available online. Every week we drop a new one. Yeah. And we're up to like HD. episode like nine or whatever. High def. We, we do have high def video. <laughs> That's right. Full not, color. Not to mention the <laughs> gallery. <Stereo. Every> color. <laughs> Burt Kreischer, we have in Living Color, we have Nikki Glazer, we Shane have Gillis. Michelle Wolf, Shane Gillis, Ari Shafir, uh, yeah. TJ Miller, Louis C.K., uh, the list goes on, so uh, get on it, folks, you're missing out. And free, it's free so bucks. much backlog shit, plus oh, yeah. the old apps. Yeah, and we have a, we have a very special thing we're going to do soon, where we're going to release a, 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 a very uh, beloved video from the Patreon in public. So that people that aren't on the Patreon get a little taste. Mm, we talked about this sniff. a while ago, but pretty soon. Now that we've finished season one of Hot Gay Sets, our documentary series. I see. We're going to plug the Patreon because all of season one is out now. It's like literally four hours of just documentaries of following you guys around the country. Yeah. From New York to L.A. to fucking wherever the hell we went. Poughkeepsie. <laughs> all know. over yeah. creation. So, yeah, get yeah. on it. A lot of stuff. I got to buy a Sentra. We, gotta, we need some cash. The world is ending. <laughs> Who knows where we'll be in 2024, so uh, help out. And uh, where are you going to be there, Fatty? I got Nashville Zanies, August 12th Ooh. and 13th. The weekend before that, Des Moines Funny Bone. That's hey. August f- 5 and 6, I think. Another one and then that. after Nashville, Liberty Funny Bone, whatever that is, 19 and 20, I think. So big August. I got uh, Nashville, Des Moines, and Liberty. And then July 29th, Toronto, one night only. And, of course, the movie is playing, uh, hopefully still in some... By the time you hear this, it'll still be at um, Cinema Village in New York and the Lemley in Santa Monica, and I think Canada, too. We'll, I'm sure we'll get extended more. We're kicking ass. Thanks to everyone that's already gone and seen it. And give it a nice rating on uh, Rotten Tomatoes. We're at, like, 94% no. audience. Yeah. Holy hell, that's yeah. huge. 
So thank you, farts, jizz, come. I'm scared to ask about the tomato meter. That's like 23, but it's 23 oh, and 98. God. And every bad review just talks about, well, Louie's a bad person. Right, right. What so, a horrible system they've got there. Yeah, what can you do? All right. Uh, cool. Wise guys, this weekend, Salt Lake City. I think we added a show. Houston Improv, baby, coming back to Tejas. Comedy off Broadway in Lexington. LOL Comedy Club in San Antonio. West Palm Beach Improv. Uh, Richmond Funny Bone. Brea Improv out in L.A., and then uh, Neptune Theater in Seattle, Portland, Oregon, Portland, Maine, Toronto, Vancouver, and New Orleans, and Philly. So we got a lot of stuff cooking. So, yeah, say hello, queef it up, go gay, praise Allah. Thank you. Thank you.